Real quick, we'll just wild. Hey, thanks, Don and Terry. We are here with Nathan Martin. Can you just talk to me just about the race and what you were seeing coming down that finish line? Um, yeah, I mean, I wanted to get out here, test myself, um, have a couple other races coming up. Um, so I've done the print multiple times. It's always great getting out here. And um, yeah, uh, that last little bit, I uh, just trying to fight to finish. Obviously tired and yeah, just trying to bring home a good time. Unofficial time of 48.43. Is that the fastest you ever ran in 10 miles? Um, so actually I ran 46.57 a few years back. Um, that's when there was a little bit more competition. Um, so it's always hard to push yourself alone, but I'm happy with my time and performance and I think it's going to help me out for races to come. So. And you have to push yourself through this race. So what would yeah. you say to those first time runners who are just getting out here that want to complete this race? Um, the biggest thing is just be smart. Um, it's not one in the first three miles, it's one in the last three. Um, so know what your abilities are, test yourself, and when it comes time to grind, grind. Well, now that you got the win, what, what comes after this? Do you go drink some water, get some hydrate? <laughs> you drink something? I mean, you gotta let us know. Uh, I mean, obviously I'm gonna do a cool down. Always good to get some chocolate milk. I'm a coach, so that's kind of what I preach to my athletes. Um, and yeah, just uh, getting ready for what's ever next, so. Well, congratulations, Nathan Martin of Jackson. And I send it back to you, Don and Terry, and me and, me and Nathan, we're gonna get some chocolate milk, right? <laughs> get some chocolate milk, so. <laughs> you guys Nathan, just to follow up a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Nathan, do you got a second? Um, yeah, 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 I can uh, connect, so. What, yeah, what does it feel like to win this race, particularly here in Flint, Michigan? Um, it's awesome. Obviously, I'm a Michigan native, so being able to come here, represent Michigan, obviously we're in Michigan, um, it's just really awesome and celebrate and all that kind of stuff, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, you said you were a coach as well? Uh, I am a coach? a coach, yeah. Where do you coach? Uh, so I coach at Jackson High School. Um, so shout out to my athletes. I actually have one racing right now, so we'll see how she does. But yeah, no, it's awesome. Can I talk about what was the approach? I mean, what, what did you kind of think of it yeah. as you were moving along? Yeah, so our original goal was, hey, regardless of the conditions, regardless of who shows up, let's try and fight for a PR. Um, I knew kind of early on that that might not be the case. Um, but in races to come, I might be running alone, so I just had to test myself and um, see what I had. So. These weather conditions, for people who don't know, does that help or does that hurt you as you're running? So really anything over about 50, 55 degrees is a negative effect on the body. Um, so I don't know what it is, 60, 70, so a little past that. Um, but again, it's about testing yourself and seeing what you get regardless of things. So. Seeing this community and how they turn out, there's there's thousands of runners, but there's tens of thousands of spectators. Yeah. How special is it to be part of this this event? Oh, it's awesome. Um, just seeing everybody, the energy, all that kind of stuff. Like you can't mimic that in a workout, right? Um, so getting out here, testing yourself, um, having people cheer you on is awesome. So.